So today was a big day at ours as a parliament. It was a day that uh, that's going to determine our future for the next couple of months. Uh, today is the day where a lot of ministers and politics got their roles reshuffled, whether it was uh, whether it was getting uh, new roles or um, or being assigned to a totally different role. Um, one of the biggest highlights of the day was when uh, Galvin Williamson, who was previously the education uh, secretary uh, secretary uh, that he was demoted, he was uh, he was sacked. Um, in my opinion, I think the education department was one of the worst run uh, run departments in in lockdown over the two uh, two years. Education was affected the most, and because of that reason, uh, student students paid the price. A lot of students who are meant to be in the second year of university, uh, a lot of students are are still not at university. Uh, a lot of students who are meant to be in my year at university starting. Uh, who were meant to be starting their courses this September, uh, they are not starting their courses um, and they didn't even plan on taking a gap year. It's because of how the grading system has been working, it's because of um, of how the, the government have assigned the grading system. So for the last two years the grading system has work, been working uh, from teacher assessment uh, grades, uh, they've been working from how the teacher uh, or how or well how the teacher thinks you have been doing um in school which is un, un, unfair for some students as they've been working a lot harder uh for example at home uh, teachers wouldn't be able to see how much effort students have been putting in at home uh again it comes a lot of pressure for the teachers because after all they're the one that's that's giving them the grades um it comes at a lot of pressure for the teachers um but so there's two reasons on why i said that the education department was one of the worst run uh, departments by the government um during lockdown the first reason was online learning so that everything was shut down um schools were shut down and students were meant to stay at home um and students were men were expected to log on at nine o'clock uh to continue with the school work uh through computer screens um so there was no urgency all the students or um, some of the students would have lost their motivation uh, and some of them wouldn't even wake up at uh, nine o'clock because everyone's much more comfortable at home it's 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 after all uh when school was on everyone would show urgency to wake up at six seven eight o'clock uh to attend school but when online learning when it comes to online learning everyone would be uh, would have lost the motivation and so online uh, online learning comes at a cost uh, some families might not be able to afford the latest technologies the latest computers the latest laptops and would be living uh, in difficult circumstances uh, and this this creates barriers between students because uh, it creates barriers of students who, who were able to to access uh, access uh, online learning and students who weren't uh, the second reason on why I said the gov uh, why I said that education was run poorly was because of so much confusions. Um, there was a time uh, from December uh, to March, uh, December, January, February, uh, March, where there was a lot of confusions created by the government uh, that affected students in school, uh, such as whether there was going to be exams or not. Uh, which which created a lot of confusion in school with uh, with students with teachers, and uh, there was a lot of false information coming um, coming from everywhere. I was one of the students that um, that overlooked uh, overlooked um, that overlooked some of the, uh, some of the confusion coming. Uh, there was a lot of uh, information, and uh, there was a lot of delays with it, everything as well. Um, until mid March, uh, there were um, there were reports of whether there were going to be exams or not, and which, if you think about academic year, academic year only, um, well, uh, until A levels and uh, A levels finishes in mid June, and uh, there was only a couple of months uh, between March and June. Uh, let's hope that this uh, this year, this academic year. 
this is the third academic year entering A level since lockdown started. Let's hope that they are not as affected. Let's hope that government uh, runs the education department properly this time.